the very basic idea is that there's been a tragedy uh, that was created by Hedvig and this rock icon, Tommy Gnosis. She does all she can to get into certain theatres to be close to Tommy. In every house we're in, Tommy is playing somewhere exceedingly nearby. You can open the back door and hear Tommy's concert going on. So she's basically stalking an old lover but trying to make it look like she isn't, <laughs> whilst enjoying her own modicum of success. But the premise is this is one night only, one special night where Hedvig's going to be a star, and she doesn't quite do it without ripping down a few theater curtains at the same time. <laughs> For me, what I take away from playing Hedvig and from being this person is the story of love and how love is gender queer. How love transcends labels and barriers. I approach it um, more from like the human angle. Just they're humans. They're humans. And Yitzhak is a man who loved being in drag, loved being a woman, loved being this fabulous woman, Crystal, um, but doesn't have the opportunity to anymore for love. I believe that Hedvig goes out on stage every night and says, I may be different, but we're all exactly the same. We all suffer. The world is cruel and you learn to be who you are and the person sitting next to you, hold on to them right now because you're going to need each other. Be together. It doesn't matter. That's what I think is important. That's why I think you should see the show so you can hold on to a stranger for five minutes. And hopefully you'll remember that person you held on to, whether it was a... 300 pound black man, a 120 pound skinny transsexual woman. What does it matter? When you need help, what does it matter who's giving you the kiss of life? All eyes are on the smash hit winner of four Tony Awards. The show Rolling Stone calls the best rock musical ever. Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Tickets at denverscenter.org or 303-893-4100.